Welcome back to Physical Diagnosis 2, Physical Exam for the Neck. In this presentation, we'll be looking at this skill sheet, which describes the neck examination with a visual exam for symmetry. When we talk about symmetry, you're looking to see if the musculature is symmetry with the sternocleidomastoid, other structures of the anterior cervical triangle, as well as inspecting for tracheal being midline. We're then going to palpate the carotid arteries bilaterally, but not simultaneously, once at a time. Then we will move from there to demonstrate the posterior and the posterior lateral approach for examination of the thyroid. We will palpate the isthmus, the lobes, and the patient swallows to allow us to be able to demonstrate these structures. We will then take a look at the lymph nodes of the neck, starting out with the preauricular, which are in front of the ears, the posterior auricular, which are behind the ears, located anterior of the mastoids, the occipital, which are at the base of the skull, posterior cervical lymph chain at the back of the neck, the tonsillar, submandibular, submental, superficial cervical, deep cervical, and supracovicular. Remembering our grip mnemonic, where we greet, establish rapport, introduce and identify, explain the procedure, ensure privacy. Your equipment will, for this examination will be your hands. Remember to wear gloves when appropriate. Position the patient at the same level that you are. Our anterior examination visually will be looking at the sternocleidomastoid clavicular attachment, sternocleidomastoid mandibular attachment, the cricoid cartilage, and then eventually the palpation of the thyroid. This demonstrates our technique for palpation of the lymph nodes, remembering that sometimes you do need to palpate both superficially and a little bit deeper. This demonstrates the posterior approach for the examination of the thyroid, having the patient swallow, which will move the thyroid across the examiner's fingertips. This demonstrates the anterior lateral approach. Again, once you have located the thyroid lobes, you ask the patient to swallow. The picture where the provider is palpating one side without the thumb can be used when difficulty to palpate the thyroid. Also, this test can be accentuated by having the patient turn their head away from the side that is being tested and asking them to swallow. Your thyroid examination and the neck examination should look something like this. Okay, next I'm gonna take a look at your neck and the structures around there, as well as some lymph nodes in your neck and on the um, sides of your head. So first I'll start off by palpating the preauriculars. Next I'll move to the posterior auriculars, occipital, posterior cervicals, anterior cervicals, supraclaviculars, tonsillars, submandibulars, and submental. During your examination, you also want to check for the carotid pulses bilaterally. Note that the provider is utilizing his fingers and palpating bilaterally, but not simultaneously. Do take care in between the sternocleidomastoid and trachea is where you will find this arterial pulse point but do not press too hard as this can be uncomfortable. You do want to note the anterior structures of the neck, looking for symmetry of the sternocleidomastoids, the cricoid cartilage, the thyroid cartilage, noting the trachea being midline. The posterior approach of the thyroid exam will look something like this. Note the provider's positioning of the hands just inside of the sternal attachment of the sternocleidomastoid. The provider will then ask the patient to swallow, noting the elevation of the thyroid cartilage. This will allow the patient's thyroid to be palpated. The anterior lateral approach to examination of the thyroid uses similar landmarks that the posterior approach did. In this situation, the provider will palpate on their side of the neck 
for the thyroid just medial to the sternocleidomastoid's th sternal attachment. They will then ask the patient to swallow, again elevating the thyroid. In this case, they'll be feeling for the lobe and then the isthmus. It is important for the provider then to check both sides, asking the patient to swallow once again. If it is difficult to palpate the thyroid, the patient can be asked to look away from the provider, allowing the fingers to be moved into the gap in between the sternal attachment of the sternocleidomastoid, and then again asking the patient to swallow. This concludes our neck and thyroid and lymph node examination.